After nearly 80 years of wondering, some U.S. military families getting closure. Thursday, the Naval History and Heritage Command confirmed the identity of a wreck site off the coast of Japan. It's the USS Albacore, an American submarine that got lost at sea in 1944. Tonight, our Bella Caracta shows us the discovery made, how it made waves across the country, including right here in Omaha. I never knew him, but I knew of him all my life. Leonard David Moss, a World War II veteran, Purple Heart recipient, and uncle to Lou Moss Shirley. He was always in a picture in my grandmother's home. At the center of their home and hearts in spirit, though no one knew where the 23-year-old was. I don't know that it was exactly sad, but just look at him and knowing that they didn't know what happened to him. In 1944, Moss's parents received a telegram saying their son was missing. He was aboard the USS Albacore. The following year, another letter, presuming him and about 85 others on the submarine, lost. Another person in Omaha got the same news. Father Edward Flanagan, the founder of Boys Town. Back in 1944, a, a telegram came to Boys Town informing, informing Father Flanagan that the submarine had been sunk and, and the, the uh, whereabouts of Patrick were unknown. Patrick McKenna graduated from Boys Town and was also on the USS Albacore. For many years, we just waited. Then Monday, three days before the official announcement. I'll let you, it says, Dear Albacore family. Families got this letter saying with the help of a Japanese professor, the USS Albacore was identified. Closure and confirmation. Shirley felt shock, just really shocked. And then my next thought was far. They're gonna make me cry for my grandmother and grandfather. My grandmother lived 40 years not knowing where he was or what happened to him. But now. They always had that hope that they would know where he was. So I feel like they know now, as I said, they're all in heaven rejoicing now, but they didn't know. So I wish we could have told them then. On your side in Omaha, Bella Caracta, Six News.